Our next guest is having a dream year in the life of a young filmmaker. Within just one week, he not only premiered a movie at Sundance Film Festival, but he got nominated for an Oscar. His success may be even sweeter because he's sharing the joy with his two grandmothers. They are the central characters in his documentary short. And here to tell us more is filmmaker Sean Wong. Sean, welcome to Nightline. Thank you for having us. And, well, congrats, first of all, on your first feature film, Dee Dee. It was you. just one a couple of prizes at Sundance. And um, a few days later, you got a little Oscar stardust sprinkled on you with Nai Nai and Waipo. Describe your emotions right now, even if you can. I mean, I'm just so grateful, honestly. Like, it's such a surreal, special experience. And I think it would be really overwhelming if I didn't get to share it with some of my best friends, like my collaborators, my family. The grandmothers are having such an incredibly, you know, fun time, and I think I feel like our job in all of this is just to make sure they have a fun time. And so if they're having fun, I'm having fun. I'll process this one day, but it's so special. I was so pleased to meet your grandmothers mm -hmm. who are the subject of Nai Nai and Waipo. Give us a sense for those who haven't seen it yet or are about to, what the film's about. Like the title, it's about my Nai Nai and Waipo, my paternal grandmother and my maternal grandmother. They live together. They're kind of like roommates, sisters, best friends. And the movie really is just a very extraordinary, holistic portrait of their lives together. And that's kind of what we wanted to do. We wanted to zoom in on what on, can be seemingly ordinary and find the sort of extraordinary humanity that exists within these two incredibly special women in my life. Absolutely, yeah. and you totally nailed it. But before we go any further, let's take a look at the clip from the film. My name is Zhang Lihua. 我現在八十三歲了 <笑> Now, I know this was a, a COVID lockdown project for you, but in many ways, the backdrop for that was a lot of the anti-Asian hate crimes that were happening in that time. How did that inspire you? Well, it was, I think, like a lot of people just kind of feeling a little helpless and angry during that time. And uh, I moved home, and it was a sort of transitional period in my life. And for the first time in a really long time, I got to spend time with my grandmothers and experience a daily routine with them. And that daily routine with them was so full of joy and laughter and silliness. You see in the movie, it's a lot of dancing and kind lots of, of fart jokes. Lots of farting. <laughs> Childlike, infectious, youthful joy that they bring out of me and I bring out of them. And those emotions were sort of juxtaposed by the anti-Asian hate crimes that were happening, not just in our country, but especially in the Bay Area, where I'm from, where they live, where we shot the movie. And, and so it, often against elderly. Yeah, against people like my grandmothers. They were being portrayed as these sort of helpless victims. And I was like, no, people like them are so full of life, and they're so vibrant, and they're so youthful and playful and smart and wise. Um, and so we really wanted to make a film that honored them, them, you know, honored their humanity. And you really nailed it. You talk about profound issues, life and beyond issues, but also with this hilarity, with this humor and joy. That was the hope with the movie, was to kind of create a container where all of these tones could exist in one film. It's an honest portrait of the two of them. Um, and their immigrant experience. There was the reaction moment to the Oscar nomination went viral. Ah! You were with your grandmothers mm -hmm. when you got the nod. Um, what was it like to hear that Nai Nai and Waipo are Oscar nominated? We're going to the Oscars with my grandmothers. It's like a sentence I literally never thought I would say. <laughs> so it feels very surreal and un special. You know, I think one of the greatest joys of this experience is how much fun they're having. Um, to go to the Oscars is like, that's a dream come true. They walked red carpets at Sundance. They partied the night away at the after party. We're all getting to kind of do this together too, you know? So I think that's been the greatest joy is, 
you know, filmmaking in my life is so personal and something I care so much about. To just have them be a part of it is so special. Mm -hmm. And just for the summer ahead, once the Oscars are passed, DD got bought at Sundance and mm -hmm. it's going to be distributed. Tell us about how people can catch it. Yeah, DD is my first feature. Uh, we premiered at Sundance and it's going to come out this summer uh, on July 26th in theaters. So keep an eye out. Sean, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Juju. It's Thanks so for having me. It's so good to see you again, too. Mm -hmm. Our thanks to Juju. Nai Nai and Waipo is now streaming on Disney+. Plus. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.